Hello, I'm called Jingo Nelly and I'm going to be taking you through the fourth part of um, time value of money and with the, the previous videos we had handled a lump sum and this time around we are going to look at annuities but before I begin uh, I'm going to require you to subscribe and also follow what I'm pointing at because I already have laid out information now with annuities these are uniform cash flows expected per period for a specific for a spirit for a specific number of periods now with this we get to have uh, types of annuities with the types of annuities we have in ordinary annuities now with this these annuities occur at the end of every time interval for example if you're having one two three four five six to work at the end at the end then we are having annuity due for annuity due. These are annuities that occur at the beginning of every time interval. Now with these, they begin at the beginning. For example, if you are having 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 6, they occur at the beginning. Meaning that for annuity due, it is uh, greater than uh, the it is greater than the ordinary annuities because it happens more times. You can see it happens more times than this one which begins at 2. And begins at one and then uh, it, uh the earnings it earns more more return than the ordinary annuities so that is to do with uh ordinary annuities and annuity due then uh, we are having deferred annuity this is the type of annuity where the time of occurrence is deferred or delayed for some specific period then it starts happening for example grace period of loans like paying in the last two years then we have in perpetual annuities for perpetual annuities this is the type of annuity happening for every for which is happening forever and ever for example interest uh, interest income on government like uh, console bonds then we are having contingent annuity Contingent annuity, this is the type of annuity that depends on an event, then it starts occurring or after fulfillment of an event of an event. For example, uh, if I told you to score a 90% in financial management, you'll be paid a hundred thousand every year. So meaning that it's after this fulfillment of the event that you you start earning the hundred thousand. So after that, uh, we are going to look at ordinary annuities and under ordinary annuities, we are having the future value of the uniform cash flows. Now with that, this is the formula which is future value is equal to the, the S stands for annuity, uh, square brackets, uh, brackets 1 plus R to the power N minus 1 uh, divided by R square bracket so this is the uh, the formula we're going to be using for the uniform cash flows of ordinary annuities then with this we're having an example if 250 million shillings is expected to be earned per year as interest on a bond for five years with a coupon rate of 15 percent what will be the future value of the annuity now with this applying my formula here i first deal with my rate which i change to this more 15 divided by 100 giving me 0 0.15 so after that I, I start substituting in by getting out the vital information I get what's my annuity uh, my annuity is uh, 250 which is expected every year so meaning this is going to be my annuity and uh, this is going to be my rate then I substitute in the, the rest and I first solve for this then I minus with the 1, then I divide by the 0 0.15, then after that I will get this answer. So this answer, it's what I multiply with this to give me a future value of 1,685.6, and this will be my future value. And with that, I would have determined my, the future value of that annuity. Then after that, I'm having uh, the future value of an even cash flows now with this where cash flows are not uniform the future value is determined by summing up all the net current 
cash flows for example if you are being given five years if you want to, if at all you want to find the annuities and they are not uh, uh, they are uneven and they are occurring for five years you are going to say future value is equal to the annuity plus annuity brackets one plus r um, brackets one now this one is going to come as a result of if at all this is year two it's going to be two minus one resulting to one then same with this it's going to be three three minus one resulting to two and uh, this one is going to be uh, four minus one resulting to three and this one will be the fifth year which is going to be five minus one um, resulting to four and then if at all you are continuing maybe if at all you are given more years the rest it will be a to uh, brackets one plus uh, r to the power n minus one and that's how you find out the future value of an event cash flows and uh, with that that's all for today thank you for watching make sure you subscribe